Validating Sale Return with Original Sales This presentation will give you an overview on using Validating Sale Return with Original Sales feature in Busy. Using this feature, you can validate original sales bill with the sale return you are entering. On using this feature, Busy applies certain checks and controls and restrictions to check whether you are entering correct details while entering the sale return voucher. Basically, it checks the price entered is correct, the item which is returned by the customer is correct or not. So by using this feature, you can validate original sale bill with the sale return bill. To enable this feature, click Administration, Configuration, Features Options Inventory tab. In the Inventory tab, enable the option of Validate Sale Return with Original Sales. Below this option, you can see another option, Validate Purchase Return with Original Purchase. Enable this option if you want to validate Original Purchase with the Purchase Return Voucher. Both the options are totally similar and works parallelly. In this presentation, we will discuss about the Validate Sale Return with Original Sale option. After enabling this option, click Save button to save the configuration. Next, we will enter a sales voucher. On 10th of April, we are entering this voucher for the party Monu confectionaries. We are selling item fruity mango drink 1 liter, 20 bottles at the rate of 55 per bottle. Click save button to save the voucher. Now, when the customer returns the item, we will enter the sale return voucher. This sale return is on 12th of April. Here we have selected the party as Monu confectionaries. On selecting the party, an original sale details window appeared in which you need to enter voucher number and voucher date of the original bill which you need to validate. On specifying a voucher number, Busy has shown the message that this voucher number does not exist on this date. If you have certain confusion, then you can click the sale voucher list button to view the list of previous sale transactions. Here Busy is showing that on 10th of April, a voucher number 4 is entered for fruity mango drink 1 liter. We have changed the voucher number to 4 and the date is 10th April, then Busy has shown the sale amount and taxation amount of the original sale bill. Now we have selected the item is fruity mango drink 2 liters and customer has written 5 bottles at the rate of 95 per bottle. On saving the voucher, Busy has shown the message box that you are entering an invalid item. Basically this item was not sold in voucher number 4, that is the voucher through which you are validating this sale return. Now we will modify this item, we have selected the fruity mango drink 1 liter, 5 bottles at the rate of 55 per bottle. Hence by using this feature you can validate items, items price, voucher number, all these checks and controls will be applied so that wrong data entry can be averted. Hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily use validate sale return in sale feature in busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos subscribe to our YouTube channel.